I think being athletes, we generally take care of our physical health. Um, and that's usually at the forefront, isn't it? It is, yeah. But I think, like our physical health, our mental health also can go up and down, yeah. and we do need to prioritise that as well. So yeah. sort of have them side on side rather than one being way more important than the other. Yeah, definitely. Healthy mind equals a healthy body yeah. at the end of the day. And I think in any sort of physical capacity, we always will go through injury or we'll be um, you know, sad because of maybe what's happened in training or frustrated. So again, it's being able to deal with those emotions yeah. as well as dealing with a physical. And having well. the strategies ready at hand in yeah. place for if you, if you are having a low day or yeah. if you're having a low mood for a period of a week or whatever, you need to have those strategies in place. Yeah. Things that we can do to cheer yourself up or help someone else cheer up. Uh, I think the classics like just a bit of self-care, but take yourself away from yeah. a situation and just do some things for you. It's quite helpful. Yeah, I feel like going to the gym for me. Yeah, I like that. I feel like always clears my head out. Yeah, but then also you could like to spend time with friends and like go out and do something. Yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes as well, it's nice to do that for somebody else. So you know, if you can notice somebody a bit down, it's nice to say, "Oh, do you want to go out and have coffee?" Or yeah. Do you want to people... go and do the gym? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some people don't always want to approach themselves, so yeah. if they, they won't ask someone else to do something, but if yeah. someone asks them, then we're open to it. Just taking time to step back and just chill out. I like to set a bath, so I light all my candles, nice. set a nice hot bath, yeah. have my bubbles in there. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think that just helps me to take a step back, just chill out. Yeah. And often, I think when you analyse a situation like that, like when you take the time to actually sit back and analyse it, it's not as bad as you originally thought. Exactly. You know? Yeah, no. It's a bit more peaceful. Yeah, and I, I always look to see what other people might have, like, their guidance in, what, in a way that we can like de-stress. Yeah, so talking to family, talking to friends, um, just getting some guidance from them as well. Yeah. But I totally agree with the bar. Oh, wow. You definitely do need to chill out, because sometimes in the heat of the moment, it can be really hard to reflect on. Yeah when lots and lots of things are coming at you. I think that's the other thing, because yeah. when we're in the programme and when we're not in England, we're in Super League yeah. and there's so much going on, so I think you actually need to take time and make time in your schedule to just have some self-care stuff and yeah. just do something that you enjoy, yeah. whether that be going for a walk, maybe going for a bike ride or... Getting for me, nails sleeping, done. getting nails sleeping, done, yeah. yeah. My nails aren't done at the moment, <laughs> so I still need, need to do that. We need to do that. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> My nails are de-stressed. Yeah, de-stressed. <laughs> your mental health is as equally as important as your physical health. Make sure you take some time out for yourself, have a little bit of TLC. Every mind matters.